good freaking morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. We got a fun one on the docket for you guys today. I'm very excited about today's video, but I wanted to come on here right before we get to the course and just say just a massive heartfelt thank you to you guys for the support on the last video. Like it's just, it was overwhelming, man. I think I went back and I replied to all like 245 comments you guys left in that video. The support is insane and it literally means the world to me because like this is just, this is a culmination of so many years of grinding on YouTube and like trying to find that passion and like I really do think I found it with you guys and this channel and this content and like golf in general it's just it's the thing I love most in this world right now and the thought of being able to do that for you guys and entertain you guys on here like I'm putting my everything into this for you guys I'm fully committed I want to make the best content possible for you I want to grow this channel with you guys we're a community your support's just absolutely insane so from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much I'm super excited for today's video let's head to the course and we'll get things underway All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are here. We are at the University Golf Club here in Vancouver, British Columbia, and we're doing something, two, three very fun things today. Number one, we're playing golf. That's the fun thing, number one. We all love that. Number two, we are playing golf one day after it snowed. It snowed here a day ago. All the courses were closed yesterday. This is like the only course in the city that's open today. I call around, it's the only one. So we're playing it in the winter. It was freezing last night, literally below freezing. Right now, again, it's like two degrees above freezing. We're gonna tip it out today. We're gonna play from over 6,500 6, yards in the winter, which in the summer is a long distance for you, boy. We're gonna play that in the winter, so ball's not flying far. And number three, this is what the greens look like. This is what the holes look like. We're gonna be hitting golf shots into bowling balls. And you might be thinking, oh, that's easy. You can't really putt on these things. So it's gonna be interesting. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm gonna get paid up. We're gonna grab our cart. And we're gonna head to the first tee. I think that got about 10 feet off the ground, but luckily downhill, so it's running. That was first swing of the day out of the car. Get stuck. Okay, so to the front, it's about 145, but we're a little bit out of the rough here. So I'm just gonna hit a smooth nine iron, try to just leave it a little bit short. All right, made great contact, but I ended up flaring it just a little bit out to the right maybe a little big let's see okay so first look at what we're working with here folks this is literally what a temporary green is it's this and then look at this hole this is the hole my hand for comparison that's what we got uh, that's what we're dealing with here today we're a little bit long here maybe 10 yards over the right and back so we're chipping back up into it it's a bit of a hill so i think it should work out okay but i don't know man it's sketchy you're not even putting like I don't, I don't know, man. I, score, I have no idea what this is going to look like today, you folks. <laughs> that, that landed in the cuff. That landed in the cuff and bounced out. Do we count that? I mean, you'll see. You'll see. It's all plastic bottoms here. It's all plastic bottoms. So that literally landed in the cup. In the cup. And just bounced out. Okay, we won't count that, but I'm definitely giving myself, I'm giving myself this little chip, which I just, there we go. I just put it in with a wedge. Par on the first. Maybe bogey, comment, or maybe birdie. Comment down below if I should take that birdie. Okay, at least we know that <laughs> this short game's gonna be okay today. Gentlemen, this is one of the holes that they have moved up significantly. This is usually about 175 yards. It's playing only like 135 today, but dead into wind right now. And obviously the winter conditions, the ball, like I said, does not fly as far. So, I honestly think I'm gonna put like a full nine iron swing on this. I'm nervous I'm gonna sail it over, but it's either that or pitching wedge. I really can't decide. I don't know, the wind's kind of changing. I'm gonna go pitching wedge, leave it a little short, trust my chipping worst case. Oh yeah, that one is pretty tight. Okay, so uh, woefully, woefully misjudged that, hit it 
hit it about outside, well, outside of the temporary green. Didn't, didn't quite make it. So we're about 10 yards short. Another little chip coming up. Let's see if we can put it tight. Did not catch all out. All right, first putt of the day, dead center can bit. It's going to be, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how many more putts we pull out. Okay, so here's where the whole uh, tips in the winter problem is going to start rearing its head. I think the par 3 is going to be a little shorter today, but some of these par 4s literally they either have not changed or it's like they haven't moved the tips back to account for the fact that it's winter, which usually they move them all the way up. But because the greens are up today, I think they've leveled it out. So this is playing 415-yard par 4. This is the number one handicap hole in the course. It's a huge sloping fairway to the right. Obviously, if you hit it right, you're in play, but it's in the trees. It's on that par three that we just came up. So you don't want to do that. And if you leave it left, it's like literally has it right up all the way out. So we're just going to try to hit a smooth one down the center. I think the wind's helping a little bit here, but we're going to need some help to get this one up close. We missed on the safe side, but we definitely slipped out of that one open the face and banana hook that one right ladies and gentlemen here comes the first little bit i think of real shot shaping you're gonna have seen me attempt on this channel so far being only the second video i landed here on the right obviously tree dead in front the hole is kind of just around this tree to the right now hitting a fade like a kind of hooky fade is some or slicey fade is something i'm pretty comfortable doing the wind is also helping me now i'm obviously nervous because the pads are dead straight and if i don't hit it it's probably gonna go straight into that but i'm pretty confident i can bend one around the tree and just get it up kind of close to the green we're about 155 yards out but helping wind i think we should be able to get up tight if i hit this well Cut a little bit. We had good contact on the ball, but it definitely didn't cut as hard as I wanted. I got nervous when I got up to the ball with the tree right there. Typically how I hit a cut, keep in mind I've never been taught how to hit a cut. This is just how I do it. Is I just get, I put the ball a little further back and I get a little steeper on it, but sometimes it'll launch the ball out to the right and then cut. And I was very nervous with how close I was to the tree of just having it ricochet back into my face. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, honestly, I'm playing this hole a little bit better than I do in the summer sometimes. <laughs> We had about 55 yards into the flag there. A little side to the lie, but just gonna try to chip one close. Not my best effort. Definitely leaked a little bit right that downhill. I think I just cut across it a bit, but it's okay. We gotta chip in for par. around the donut on that one folks all right ladies and gentlemen fourth hole here this is an interesting one because this is actually a temporary hole this is not one they play in the summer this is actually a practice green or like a chipping green that they convert in the winter into a par three so it's interesting about 135 yards again another bit of a shorter one i really do think a lot of the par three is gonna be a little shorter but the distance can be made up in the longer holes but anyway we have about that to the center it's right into the wind again i left the last one short so i'm gonna club up from the last one and hopefully we can get it there All right, we came across that one a little bit. Good contact, but I think we sent it a little right of the flag, but I think we're actually pin high this time, so we'll see though. Give me, this is a, this is like a short game video here. This is just, I'm realizing now, it's like every, every hole, there's probably going to be a chip up towards the green. Probably. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got here one of easily my favorite driving holes in the entire city. Obvious reasons. Look down this thing. Helicopter. It's just a beautiful looking shot. So we're going to try to get a hold of one here. The first two drives this day have not been great. We're going to try and get a hold of one, kind of send it down the middle, hopefully. Oh, yeah. This hole just visually it's just 
can't help but hit it down the middle. All right, so another just kind of special little shot here. We got about, as you can see, we're about 50, 75 yards short of the 150, but the flag is only about another 100 yards past that because it's pulled up a little bit today. This hole's playing, it usually plays 485. I think it's playing right around 455 today. We have about 185 in, 175 in, something like that. So we're just gonna try to take one up, basically right over the 150 right at the flag here. It's pretty, these, obviously the green complexes are really not intimidating today. So you can really go right at the flags because it's just cut out of the fairway. We're gonna have an eagle putt here folks and then i do think we're gonna putt this one i've been surprised how the ball's been rolling on these like i think they may have cut them down a little bit or something or maybe it's because they're still kind of frozen the ball's rolling quite well so i don't want to risk chipping this and missing the opportunity for a birdie so we're going for the eagle and hopefully at least giving ourselves a tap and birdie Uh, yeah that was a three putt with a cup the size of my head all right so we are right in the middle of the 375 blues and the 355 whites so probably about 365 today we're playing this one it's a little dog leg to the left around those trees i can hit a pretty nice draw slash snap hook sometimes with this hybrid but i honestly think i'm gonna i'm gonna play it so that if it goes dead straight it won't run out driver would run out on this hole and then if it hooks great and you know we have a nicer shot in but Caught that one well, just right up the middle. All right, so pretty pretty good connection on that one. It only went about 200 yards. You can probably hear it. I apologize for the audio, but we are dead into the fan right now. That flag up there is howling. We're about 145 out from it. So I think we're honestly gonna hit like a six iron, like I think. I mean, it looks it looks good, but the last couple I've thought look good have been like 10 yards short, so I don't know. But if that's short, that means I hit a six iron 135. Winter golf. Yeah, minimum 10, 15 yards short. That was a that was a 135 yard six iron. And I don't think I hit it that bad. Cool. And I don't I don't care I don't care how big the hole is, a three footer, a five footer, it's still stressful. strike on that one folks let me tell you what don't leave just yet we we're about to make the turn we got a par three into it and then we turn back par five with the wind at our back we've been hitting the ball pretty well today we have a pretty good little round going kind of excited to see what happens on the back here once we get the wind helping us all right ladies and gentlemen we put a much better swing on that hybrid there we got about one oh we got about 55 yards left sorry into this one so we're just going to try to play this uphill but directly into the fan i want to get it in the air get up the hill but the wind's also going to smother it so it's going to be kind of hard to judge the number but not our best not our best All right, we made up for it that's the tough thing with the rough in these wet conditions if you just like slightly miss the ball it just grabs the club but that fairway lie much cleaner chip battling with the elements here folks i literally was in the back of my pot when that thing fell do i want to blame the wind for that yes was it actually just my really crappy first hit shot Yes. Well, I'll tell you what this this is doing. Today's video is doing. It's gonna be very excited to show you guys golf that's not in the monsoon. really thinking I was about to be in a bad mood I made two bogeys back to back on those two holes but that one the chip I'm just having a hard time figuring out how the greens are gonna release like that was so downhill that I was like I have to leave this short of the hole and then it just died like 10 maybe 7 feet short of the hole and left me a huge putt much bigger than I wanted but 
Luckily, put that one in. I think we're two over now. We're making a turn back with the wind at our back, and we have a par five now. So, let's see if we can get one back. We're on an adventure here, folks. I think I see it right there. We definitely uh, pulled that one a little bit left. I think the wind might have been pushing it this way too, but uh, I think we're gonna have a shot out, which is definitely not at the green. Okay, so we found the center here. Definitely not a well-struck shot. When I try to overly shape shots, I find I jump out of it a little bit and I'll usually catch it kind of thin and that's what happened there. So low one ran out. It's in a good position though. We got about 170 yards downwind from the flag here. So how are we gonna play it like 165-ish? Let's try to get some up there close. That was the recovery of the day right there. That was a fire. I think that literally landed like... Might have landed like three feet right of the pin. Wow. I mean, just look at that flag stick go. See that ball though? Woo! All right, I promise I'm done stroking myself off for that shot, but that was a good recovery after two bad ones. We got a birdie putt here. Longer than I thought, 10 yards, 10, 10 yards, 10 feet down the hill in fair, let's see how it goes. Do it, do it, do it, ah. I'm not taking advantage of these par fives. That stop this close, it just hit something on the lip. I didn't hit it hard enough, but. And another perk of Canadian golf in the winter is when you come to the halfway house, it's just shut. So luckily, you got some fruit gushers and some telly meat that we're gonna munch on here, take a little break three over through the front nine. Honestly, the two the two most recent bogeys were just silly mistakes. And I think overall, like for the conditions right now, I'm not mad about this. Obviously the, with the holes being the size of watermelons, I was kind of expecting to shoot relatively low, but then I realized that like actually being on those greens, like it kind of balances out because you're literally putting on dirt like this the whole time. So. Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm feeling pretty good going into the back here. I think I've kind of figured things out. Unfortunately, it's the same nine holes again, but I know them a little bit better now. I'm feeling a little bit better with the swing. I think hopefully we're gonna be able to shoot the same, if not a slightly lower back nine here. So let's get into it. day to use a, a white towel but it is a great towel where you supply co make these magnetic towels they stick to your clubs really nice but white towel all right by the way the reason i'm taking the flag out right now is obviously not because it's going to impact the ball from going in the hole the whole cup mechanism when the flag is blowing like it is right now it's tipping the cup hole thing so it's actually blocking the entrance to the hole it's like lifting up the plastic so the only way to make it level is to take it out birdie in the back i'm honestly very happy i didn't make that eagle putt because 
I'm already so nervous that playing today is going to completely ruin my speed control on greens because I'm putting on fairways right now. So the fact that I left it like five feet short, it's probably a good sign. Okay, we're back on this dog leg left par four, but as you can probably hear, we're dead into the fan. So we're hitting, hitting driving this time. Well, there you go. I do hit bad shots. almost unplayable like not the golf but the filming like i just this thing i'm just waiting right now because this thing keeps falling over this is tough i'm gonna blame the wind on that two terrible shots in a row here man we were having a kid back nine it's okay we're gonna get it back in together it's just hard to keep it all together We didn't even really miss hit that. It was just really short. Okay, good news. I figured out how to anchor this thing to my bag, so I don't think it's gonna blow over anymore. So I can actually focus on hitting some golf shots now. All right, let's, uh, let's try to save bogey on this one. Okay, we gave one back there, but I'm happy with that little up and down after two very poor shots. Let's go zero dark 30 again. We're gonna turn it on hopefully. She's not nice. holds out strong. Definitely a tough bogey there. That was back to that's I mean I'm I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm struggling right now. The last few holes has just been with the amount of wind blowing over the candle, the candle camera every time I try to hit. And then just the fact that like I don't know the weirdness of these winter greens. It's a struggle, but it's like good. It's like a test now. I'm like, hey, just try to dial it back in, calm yourself down, it's okay, hit the shots. We're just gonna see what we can do. This can't just be me complaining, but I'm not, like I'm ready to cry. That, that camera fell. That camera literally fell five times. I set up. I'm over the shot. I'm about to hit it. Falls five times. In fact, I even made contact with that ball. <laughs> Get me off this golf course. Get me off this golf course. I don't know whether to laugh or cry or what. What the hell? What is golf? What is this game? A chipping birdie from like 25 feet after the camera falls five times. I'm ready to burst into tears for 12 different reasons now. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm I'm at a bit of a a bit of a loss for words right now. I don't really know what to say. I'm probably gonna keep this one pretty brief. That was an experience that I don't really want to ever go through again. It was uh, I mean, it was fun, I guess. I played well, which is so weird. I it was so it's 6,500 yards today. It was only playing 6,100 because of the temporary greens. But then it's like the massive soccer ball hole greens with like that's why my brain's fried like i don't even know what to commentate on other than the fact that i hit the golf ball well and i was happy with that but it was also extremely miserable trying to film in this 
But at the end of the day, what matters most is I think I got an interesting and exciting video for you guys. So I hope you did enjoy. If you did, if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button, drop a thumbs up, comment below what you want to see next. Whoa, I just got to go. I'm, I'm fried, man. I got to go lie in a dark room or something. Bye. <laughs>